Okay, let's pray. Hands together. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Good. Very good. All right, close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Here, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. And we pray that you help the children to learn the lessons and help us, Lord, to uh, have a good testimony as Christians. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Very good. <laughs> okay. Oh, who remembers what we learned last week? Here's a hint. Who remembers what we learned last week? Do you remember Sarah? Huh? It was about a mirror. That's right. If you see this in the mirror, you don't want to just see it and not fix it. All right, we learned about being doers of the word. Doers of the word. So it's like looking at yourself in the mirror. If you see this, you're going to fix it? You've got to fix it. It's the same. When you see something in God's word, you've got to fix it. You see something you're not doing. You don't want to. What happens if you're a doer, if you're a hearer of the word, but not a doer? Do you remember what you are? What is this cat doing here? He's looking at himself. You're deceiving yourself, aren't you? Deceiving yourself. If you're a hearer of the word and not a doer. Right? This cat here, he thinks he's a lion. <laughs> he's not. Is he? Okay? He's look like looking in the mirror, isn't it? So, we don't want to look into the mirror of God's word and not doing anything about it and be like this man. All right, see your bad hair, not fix it. Okay, this week, we're going to learn about suffering as a Christian. Suffering as a Christian. Who likes suffering? You like suffering. Maybe you don't understand what suffering is yet. Okay, suffering. Most people don't like suffering. A lot of suffering in the world. Suffering as a Christian. What are some ways of suffering? Oh, you can't really see this picture. What is this? Simon, you'll know what this is. What is this? Somebody's in bed and they got tissues. There's this sort of suffering in the world. Sometimes when you have health problems and you're sick. Who's been sick before? Oh, yeah, everyone's been sick before. Who's been sick? You know, you have to blow your nose, and coughing, you don't have any energy. That's a small type of sickness. Some people get very sick and they can't get out of bed for a long time. It's a suffering in the world. Some ways you can suffer. What about this? Other types of suffering in the world. Sometimes it's financial suffering. People don't have any money. So you guys are all lucky here today. You're blessed, aren't you? You have somewhere to sleep. You have somewhere to live. Some people don't have that. And they have to sleep outside in the cold, on a bench. You know, they don't have the money to be able to afford to a place to stay. And they suffer like that because of not enough money. What about this? Going to a funeral. There's a lot of death in the world, isn't there? There's a lot of pain and suffering. And sometimes you have to bury the people that you love. You have to see them pass away because this world is not perfect. There's a lot of suffering in this world. Now look at what the Bible says here in 1 Peter 4. The Bible says here, but let none of you, so nobody should do this, let none of you suffer as a murderer. Who knows what a murderer is? Do you know, Matea? That's right. It's killing somebody that's innocent. Right? Abortion is murder too. You know, and people, they kill babies inside the mummy's womb. That's murder. Say, hey, because when you're a murderer, you suffer some consequences. The Bible saying, hey, we don't want anyone who's a Christian to suffer as a murderer. That's no good. Or a thief. Who knows what a thief is? You pay attention. Stop talking. Who knows what a thief is? Abel. What's a thief? He's stealing something. That's right. Taking something that doesn't belong to you. Or is an evildoer. Right? Who knows what an evildoer is? Simon? Well, that would be like a sorcerer or something. Evil. They can be an evildoer too. It's when you do harm to other people. Right? So... Right? Or as a, a busybody in other men's matters. 
Anyway, that's when you're talking about other people. Right? Talking nasty things about others, spreading rumors about other people. Okay? Busybody in other men's matters. So the Bible is saying here, hey, we don't want as Christians to suffer in this way. We don't want to suffer because we are a murderer. It's terrible. Or you're stealing things, or you're doing harm to other people, or you're talking about other people negatively behind their back. Right? Spreading lies and rumors, or talking about things that are none of your business. Okay? First Peter 4. But, let's look at this next verse. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, so this is what we're talking about this morning, suffering as a Christian. Why? Because sometimes you're going to suffer because you do the right thing. Do you know that? Sometimes you're going to suffer because you do the right thing. It says, let him not be ashamed. Okay? So don't be concerned because you suffer as a Christian. But it says here, but let him glorify God on this behalf. You know what the Bible says when you suffer for doing the right thing? Instead of being sad, like Atticus looks now, he looks a little bit sad. <laughs> you want to be happy. Right, Noah? You want to say, oh, if I suffer for being a Christian, for doing the right thing, I should glorify God. I should be happy that I'm suffering because of what I'm doing for God. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you this morning is sometimes in life as a Christian, you're going to go through suffering. So you've got the normal type of suffering in the world. You don't want to have the bad type of suffering because you've done something wrong. But if you do something good, then if you suffer for those reasons, you should glorify God on that behalf. You should be happy about that. So what are some ways that people might suffer, might get in trouble? Like we see here, somebody's in trouble because of something they did. Well, what's some examples as a Christian? How can you suffer as a Christian? What do you think here? Sometimes the other kids, the naughty kids, want to do something wrong. And if you say, well, I'm not going to do the same thing the other kids are doing, maybe they're doing something naughty that you know mummy and daddy said not to do, right? Or something that you shouldn't be doing. And now they don't want to be your friend. See this boy, maybe he's trying to do something right. And they're doing something naughty and they don't want to be his friend anymore. Should he be sad? No. He should be glorifying God that he did what's right. And even if he's suffering as a Christian, that's a good thing. Okay, so you don't want to follow the other kids to be naughty. Right, sometimes you have to stand alone doing what's right. You might have to suffer, but that's a good thing to do. What's another example? Well, what do we see here? We see one sheep that's different from all the other sheep. They say it's a black sheep and all the other sheep are white. So sometimes, as a Christian, you may look a bit different from the other kids. Right? You may not dress the same. Kids in the world may dress you know, fancier than they should or they wear, you know, some of the girls, they wear too little clothes. And you may look a little bit different from the rest of the way the people look or the rest of the way the people talk. Sometimes when you deal with kids outside of church, sometimes in church as well, it's not good. They're saying words that they shouldn't. Maybe they're saying, you know, offensive words, swear words. And you may look a little bit different, you may act a little bit different, but if you do, should you be ashamed if you're doing the right thing? No, you should glorify God on your behalf, right? You should be happy, you are different in a good way, and maybe you'll suffer, but it's a good thing. Now what's another way? So what do we got? Maybe you won't do what the other kids are doing. Maybe you may look different, you may sound different. What's another example? Oh, what's this? Why do you think he's so angry? Sometimes when you talk about God or you talk about the Bible or you talk about Jesus, you know, sometimes people are going to get angry at you. They don't like God. They don't like Jesus. And you may suffer some ridicule, you know, when people make fun of you or they get angry at you. Should you be sad about that? No. 
you shouldn't be sad because if you suffer as a Christian, like the Bible says here, we'll just go back to that verse. It says here, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. So don't be, don't be worried or don't be ashamed. Let him glorify. What does that mean? You're going to thank God, you're going to praise God on this behalf. Okay? So, this is what God did for us. We suffer as a Christian. And you know, compared to how Jesus Christ suffered for us, it's a very small thing, isn't it? As Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for us. He went through the ultimate suffering for us. I'm sure we can go through a little bit of suffering for him. Isn't that right? Okay, so let's recap. Who remembers three ways that we can suffer as a Christian? I'll give you a hint. What's the one way? You know? <laughs> Mateo, what's on? Very good. Yeah, they may not want to be your friends anymore, but you should be sad about that. No, you should be happy. You're doing what's right. Yeah, you want to be friends with kids that are doing things right, not with the fr kids that are doing naughty things. All right, what about the second one? That's one way. Timothy. Yeah, you may look different and sound different, and maybe the other people may make fun of you. But should you be sad? No. You should glorify God for this if you're doing what's right. Okay? If you're talking and dressing in a way that is pleasing to God. And what about this one? <laughs> Simon. That's right. People may get upset about you, about you talking about Jesus, talking about the Bible, talking about God. Should you be sad about that? No. Okay, you should be happy that you're doing the right thing. All right. Well, I hope you learned a little bit today about suffering as a Christian. So we had the suffering in the world. We have the bad type of suffering. You know, if you're a murderer or a thief, but then you have the good type of suffering when you're doing something right and you suffer. That's the good type. Okay? All right. So we've got some games that Philippa has organized for us today. So let's stand up. I want you guys to make sure you're listening to Philippa.